Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Arena. I bet if you're out in the open sea, one of the main things you're afraid of is sharks, maybe storms, or that feeling that this whole fishing trip is actually a lie so someone can kill you and dispose of your body easily. Maybe you guys have nicer friends than me, but I bet the last thing you're worried about is ghost ships rolling through, ready to take your loot and kill whoever's on board. Or maybe that's just pirates. I can't remember what ghost boats do. Well, I doubt you know that there are a ton of ghost boats sailing around waiting to ruin your day. And that's why I'm bringing you today's list of top 10 scary ghost ships that haunt the sea. So I guess if you're afraid of ghosts and you thought you were safe out on the ocean, guess again. The only place you're safe from your fears is in the sweet embrace of death. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. There is so much more content over there for you guys to check out, and it's a great way to get to know every host here at Most Amazing Top 10. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have the Flying Dutchman. Yes, we'll kick off this list with a boat who the famous SpongeBob character is named after. It would be amazing if you guys could hit up the comments and leave me a ton of SpongeBob memes. That would be awesome. But in real life, the Flying Dutchman isn't a ghost, and Davy Jones' locker isn't a locker full of stinky socks. The Flying Dutchman was a real boat, and it was famously captained by Van Der Dekkend. He was trying to sail all the way to the East Indies with his trusty crew. The old school sailor life would have been amazing, except for all the pirates and scurvy and drowning to death. Well, they hit a massive storm all the way at the Cape of Good Hope, and even though Van Der Decken had one of the finest crew around, they were not able to make it through the storm. Now it's said that the ghost crew and the ship are cursed to sail the waters for the rest of time, and hundreds of fishermen have said that they have spotted the ship floating around the ocean fog. At number 9 we have Governor Parr. Alright, for this one we have something that is a little less exciting than a boat that is directly connected to one of the greatest cartoons of all time, but Governor Parr has its own charm. The ship was thrown together in 1918 and the world was never sweet to it. It was constantly under repairs, and in 1923, the ship was hit by such a large storm that it was nearly ripped apart and it was left unusable, and the captain was killed. This left the crew stuck on board with a boat with no way to get around, but luckily they were found. The governor par was attached to a rescue vessel and they started to tow it, but not long after that, the tow line was broken and the ship was lost forever. No one knows where the boat drifted off to, but some people think that the ghost captain is still on board, refusing to leave the ocean. But realistically, it probably sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. At number 8, we have the MV Joyita. What makes a ghost boat a ghost boat? Does it have to go missing from all of humanity, only to ever be seen in the ocean fog? Or could it be a boat where all the crew went missing out of nowhere? Well, if you're unsure, then you need to look in here. Look in your heart. It'll tell you what a real ghost boat is. And I think this one makes the cut. The MV Joyita was found in 1955 with no crew and very little clues as to where everyone went. The dinghies and the logbook were all missing, so there's a chance that the crew took off. But what makes this one so strange is that the people on board didn't need to bail on the Joyita. The boat was lined with cork and had fuel containers on it. All these extremely buoyant items made the ship pretty much unsinkable, so why did the crew abandoned ship and what happened to them. There were also some blood covered rags on board, meaning they could have been attacked by pirates or injured in a storm. But still, nobody knows. At number 7 we have Zabrina. This is such a beautiful name for a ghost boat now isn't it? If I was getting on a boat named the Zabrina, the last thing I would expect is all the people on board to die and there to be zero explanation as to why. Well I guess names can be deceiving because this cute little boat was a transport vessel for nearly over 40 years. She was built in 1873 and in 1970. She set sail through the south of France, probably to transport a bunch of croissants or something. Maybe not. I couldn't imagine a worse way to transport soft, flaky bread than a boat that was built in 1873. You couldn't deliver it. By the time it got there, you would just have a bunch of piles of slop and then some butter soaked tears running down your face. Well, for whatever reason, the Zabrina was found floating around in the south of France with no crew, no captain, and no explanation as to where everyone went. The ship was in pretty good condition, so it didn't make sense that everyone would just just get up and go. The theory is that a German U-boat snuck up on them, took the whole crew prisoners, but other people think that the crew is still sailing out there on a ghost boat. Ooh, ghost boats, that's what this whole thing's about. At number 6 we have the Lady Love Bond. This is a dirty story of betrayal and nothing gets ghosts more worked up than having someone stab them in the back. Well legend has it that this boat was set to sail in 1748. They were going to do this as a way to celebrate the captain's upcoming wedding. What a nice celebration it must have been for him. Like, congrats Congrats, dude. Why don't you drive all your friends around a little bit? Nothing like working at your own party. Well, one of the captain's friends was also in love with his wife, and he was super jealous. God damn, this is some good tea. So what did he do? Did he try to steal his friend's lady when they were all out on the water? No. 
Did he try to poison the captain and throw his body overboard so no one could find out what happened to him? No, he took control of the ship and then sailed it into the Goodwin Sands, killing everyone on board. My god dude, I think you could have figured out a better way to deal with this. But still, amazing tea, this is very spicy gossip. Now it's said you can still see the boat sailing around the crash site. At number 5 we have the Jianseng. The Jianseng was a giant transport tanker that was discovered off the coast of southwest Queensland. When the ship was boarded it seemed that whatever group of people that were on the boat left a long time ago. The ship was extremely run down and the engines were shot. But the weirdest thing was that the nameplates and identifiers were removed from the boat. Like whoever was on this boat or whoever was the cause of why this boat went missing didn't want anyone to find out where this boat was going or why. The only thing the people searching on the ship could find was a ton of rice. This is how they were able to determine that this was a transport vessel. While on board the search party said they could hear strange voices and there was a constant presence that something was there watching them. No company, no country or person ever came forward to claim this boat. So when it was determined that this boat had no home, it was sent out to the middle of the ocean and then sunk. Damn dude you didn't even strip it for parts, just chuck it down to the bottom of the ocean? Seems like a waste. At number 4 we have the Octavius. Good old Otto Octavius trying to take down Spider-Man in pirate form. Actually if that's a thing, if there's an alternate universe Spider-Man comic where he's a pirate, please hook me up with a link to that in the comments. That sounds like the perfect combination of dumb and cool that always makes my brain happy. Well unfortunately this story has nothing to do with Spider-Man. This boat was found off the coast of Greenland in 1775. It was just drifting along because the entire crew had froze to death. The whole boat was just packed full of icy zombies frozen in place. Well don't get the wrong impression, they weren't like real zombies like walking around, they were just frozen to death so they looked all creepy like zombie, you, you, you guys get it, you understand. One of the creepiest things about this is the captain. He froze to death at his desk trying to fill out a captain's log from 1762. That means this frozen pack of jack sparrows have been floating around on the water for over a decade. At number 3 we have Carol A. Deering. I wonder who gets the job of naming all these boats because some of them are so dope but this one stinks. Carol A. Deering? She sounds like she has a pencil case collection and complains about how Pepper has a lot of kick to it. Well this poorly named boat was transporting coal from Virginia to Brazil. It was a good old working boat. It made the trip there alright, but something happened on the way back. The boat disappeared and then was found abandoned off the coast of North Carolina. The lifeboats were gone as well as the crew's belongings, but there was never an explanation as to what happened. Everyone on board was gone. It could have been a mutiny, but we really don't know. At number 2 we have the Caleuche. Here's a well named boat guys. Caleuche sounds like a dance you do to win the heart of your soulmate while simultaneously slapping a man to death. Well this boat is part of the aboriginal Chilean mythology. It said that every night this boat would form off the coast and apparently the boat is one massive party. It carries the souls of all the people who drowned at sea. That would be a great time, everyone's dead and heading to heaven. It's like when you get super drunk on the plane heading to your vacation. Vacation starts early baby. And at number 1 we have Mary Celeste. Alright now we have la creme de la creme of ghost ships. It's of course the Mary Celeste. This boat is one of the most famous stories of ghost ships floating around anywhere. It was 1872 when the Mary Celeste was supposed to make the trip from New York to Genoa. She was carrying a ton of booze. It was around 1500 barrels of booze. Enough to give every frat house in America alcohol poisoning. But sweet Mary never made it to where she was going. She was spotted off the coast of Portugal. A ship went out to investigate and much to their surprise there wasn't a single soul on the boat. The lifeboats were gone but the ship was completely intact. Nothing was wrong with it. Along with all the booze. Every bit of booze was there too. So where did everyone go? Well no one knows and that's why it's number one on this list. Alright everyone that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Also check out most amazing top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. There's so much more content for you guys to check out over there and you can get to know all the hosts here at most amazing top 10 a little bit better. Until next time I've been Shade Arena and I'm going to stay off the water. Mm -hmm.